Hey guys, what is up? It's Twister GA, and today we've got a how to beat the Belfry Gargoyles in Dark Souls 2. So there you can watch all my stats and what weapons I'll be using. And uh, let's get started. So we're going to walk in here. we got five Estus Flasks, a Great Shield, another Great Sword, I think. And uh, we're going to put the Aromatic Ooze on as these Belfry Gargoyles have a weakness to magic. So we are going to be equipping some magic onto it. And uh, we're going to start the fight. So this fight, the way the, the bosses act is a lot like... Um, the gargoyles in Dark Souls 1 if you ever fought him. Um, so lots of range, pretty fast, and uh, they start off with two. Uh, I thought, from what I read, they were supposed to spawn in when one had 90% health. Uh, but in my case, they both spawn immediately, or at least when the boss health had 90%, was at 90%. And um, if you see, they have, they're each separate health. So if you kill one, it'll hurt the boss, the main boss's health overall. Uh, but just by killing one, it won't finish the boss level. So you have to kill each one separately. And uh, you want to make sure to kill the kill the one with the lowest health first. You don't want to switch on to a new target because the, the one with the lower health, uh, after less than 50% health, will start uh, breathing fire attacks, stuff like that. So uh, you got to make sure you kill him first because then he'll get range attacks. So we killed that guy. Now we've got another boss. And um, one of the reasons I don't have too many tips here because I didn't really, I wasn't able to read much on their patterns or give you guys any good tips for making this fight easier. Honestly, this fight is a little bit hard. And I didn't really have as many tips for this one. I just kind of had lots of health and uh, great shield. Great shield really helped because their weapons, their attacks um, can make you fall really quickly. So having lots of stability to keep you from not falling is great. And the Aramaic Ooze does help a lot. But um, other than that, I really don't have that many tips. It's just kill one by one. There is a total of five gargoyles, I believe. And uh, right here, I... I didn't count correctly, and I thought it was it. This was going to be the last gargoyle. So I started attacking him, put him in a corner, which should have killed him if I was by myself. Um, if there weren't any gargoyles left, but this gargoyle started coming in. So that made the fight a lot harder. Luckily for me, the other boss, if you can't tell in the back, the other gargoyle is stuck there. So I can fight this gargoyle with almost no problem for a little bit. And uh, he's almost unstuck. You can tell in the background he's almost unstuck. So I'm able to kill this guy. Or I'm able to get close. To, actually, I do kill him without having to worry about the other guy because he's still stuck. Now he's finally out. And I killed the other gargoyles. So and now I just got to go kill him, which uh, takes me a while because he isn't dumb. <laughs> they He dodged all my attacks. And as you can see right here, he keeps dodging. So that's all the tips I have is just have a great shield. It's really helpful for this. Strength builds are great. Uh, having magic aromatic ooze on your weapon will really, really be helpful. And uh, just make sure to kill each cargo one by one, focusing on the one with the lowest health first, as uh, they'll start breathing fire and killing you because of that. So uh, hopefully you guys like this. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.